Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to use isolate and lock selections in 3ds Max. Let's start with isolate selection. This tool helps you to focus on just the objects you need, hiding everything else in your scene. You can find it at the bottom of the 3ds Max interface. It looks like a plane with a cube on it. Once you click on the icon, only the selected objects will stay visible, making it easy to work without distractions. You can also use the shortcut Alt plus Q to quickly toggle isolation on and off. Notice the small triangle in the icon lower right corner? That's a flyout menu with more options. One handy choice here is the option to isolate and zoom extent, which keeps your selected objects visible while zooming into it in the perspective view. Another great tool is lock selection, which you will find right next to isolate selection. It's represented by a padlock icon. When activated, Lock selection keeps your current objects locked, so nothing else can be selected. Perfect for avoiding accidental clicks. You can also use Shift plus Ctrl plus N to toggle lock selection on and off. Isolate and lock might seem like small features, but they can be really important in large projects. Imagine working on a huge building model. Isolate lets you tweak specific assets without other parts getting in the way, and lock helps you to avoid accidental misalignments or selections. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.